Hello, hello, hello. What ho! Welcome back to another exciting adventure of the playthrough. I'm your host, Travis Finley. Hi. Good evening. Welcome to the show. This is a pre-recorded conversation with a land surveyor. I had made a couple of phone calls to him trying to get a time to ask him questions and uh, this was the time that came up and you know I think well it's hard I'm not going to poison the well I'm not going to poison the well I want to know what you think about this listen to this interview thank you so much for being a part of this community and a part of this channel uh, I hope you enjoy and if I follow up with anything at the end I don't know I'm just going to play the sunset over Texas and uh, you can listen to the conversation You asked me about geodetic surveying last time. Well, no, I think you brought that up as a, as a, um, a point of uh, clarification. But, um, okay, so can you just tell me real quick, like, how long you've been in uh, the, the land surveying business? Well, about 45, 50 years. Awesome, 45 or 50 years. Okay. Oh, you know what it was? Last week I called you up and asked you about local level and local horizontal. That's what started our conversation off on okay um, okay so just real quick uh, could you define the word level for me in your mind just what what does level mean well level is it's hard to it's hard to explain you, you have a grid in every state and uh, if you're on a local level you just you just use a level. I mean, I don't know what I have to tell you. You know what a okay. level is. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. So the term local level, what what does local level mean and how local is local? Oh, well, uh, when you start getting out to a couple miles, I mean, you're talking, <clears throat> then things start to change, but you, you, you use level with the Pennsylvania grid, then level is level throughout the whole state. And what's the reference? Where's zero for that then? Your base? Zero is always sea level. Okay, sea level. So that would just be mean sea level right where the ocean meets the land, so to speak. Yeah. Okay. All right. And uh, how would you define the term horizontal? Horizontal is is a statewide thing also. Each state has its own grid, but its own horizontal, you know, X, Y, Z is statewide. Okay. And how would you differentiate between level and horizontal? Horizontal is elevations that are, I mean, the building is horizontal, a mountain is horizontal, and north and south is horizontal, and east and west is horizontal. Okay. Uh, how about vertical? How would you define vertical? Vertical is level. Vertical is level, but I thought vertical was per was like a perpendicular, and, and horizontal was more like a lateral. But you're saying vertical is is horizontal? Oh man, you're getting here. You're getting <laughs> I'm not trying to be difficult. I'm just trying to understand the terms you're using. Vertical to me is up and down, but ver but horizontal to me is right to left. So I don't ever think they're the same. Right That's to all. left, north to south, east to west. Okay. All right. That's what horizontal is. Vertical is up and down. Ooh. Okay. So then I asked you how how you would define vertical, and you said vertical is horizontal. Vertical is not horizontal. Oh, vertical is not horizontal. I didn't hear the not. I apologize. All right. And then uh, how about the term parallel? 
about the term parallel? Yes. Two lines that are on the same east and west or north and south. They're parallel. They never touch. Got it. And um, how does the raw data compare to the adjusted data? Boy, I don't know what you're getting into here. Oh, no? Depends on what you're doing. Okay. You got a raw file and then you have an adjusted file. You're doing a okay. survey. You start at point A and you turn angles and distances and you run around to the farm or whatever. You come to the beginning point and you don't hit the beginning point ever. So the whole thing is adjusted a little bit, each bearing and each distance, so the end point is the same as the beginning point. Okay. Okay, so if I wanted to create an extended horizontal line over a distance, let's say uh, two miles, and I would maybe mark off every 50 to 75 yards, what method could I use to create a horizontal line? Everything you do has to be on the on the state plane coordinate system. Okay, so if, if there's a piece of property that, that maybe some Amish guy wants to put up a, a large barn, let's say a 5,000 square foot barn, so then you've got the top of the ground, right? So I'm just talking about making a horizontal on the top of the surface so that you can build a uh, a foundation that's going to be horizontal, right? Well, that's a small area. Okay. Just make a map of that. Okay, but how would I make a straight line segment? How would I make a horizontal line? What would I use that would help me do that? State plane coordinate system. Okay. Okay. Uh, Everything these days is done with GPS. Uh, yeah, but you've been around for so long. What what'd you do before they did that? Before they did that, we used transits and tapes. Transits and tapes. Okay. We took a vertical angle. If we measured a distance up a hill, we took a vertical angle, and we took a sine, tangent, cosine, whatever, and made a level angle, a level distance. Level business. Okay. Everything was turned into level. All right. If you marked out, let's say, 400 yards between your markers and you dropped the plumb line at those corners, right? So you've got 400 yards, you got a marker at point A. 400 yards away, you got a marker at point B, and you drop a, a, a plumb line. Yep. Would those two plumbs be parallel? Plums would be parallel. Oh, plums. No, they would not be parallel. Oh, they they wouldn't. But you have two vertical lines. Well, plumb a uh, plumb bob. You've got a plumb bob points to the center of the earth. Okay, got it. I got you. Okay. Over over a mile, uh, damn near plumb or parallel. Yeah, but I wasn't at the mile. I was only at 400 yards. Yeah. Um, 400 yards would be damn near parallel. Okay. So is is there a limit to your tools in terms of effectiveness over distance? Like what's going to be something that you would have to take into account as you're looking over distance? There's no limit anymore with GPS. No limit anymore. Okay. Every state takes the curvature of the earth and makes a grid over the whole thing. So then when you're looking through your theodolite at your um at your part at your poles, is refraction ever taken into account? We don't do that anymore. We don't do that anymore. Okay, but back in the day, did you ever did you ever do that? Take that into account? Not really. 
No. Okay. Okay. All right. Great. Well, thanks. I appreciate your time. Thanks so much, Greg. I know you're busy, and uh, that's a best of the day. The, you know, the, Go ahead. You don't do big surveys that big. I mean, you know, 500 acres. You do a thousand acres, then you start worrying about things like that. Right. If, you, does do, be, if you do lidar mapping, you worry about things like that. Yeah. Okay, but you said that the difference between a geodetic surveyor and a, and a land surveyor really, let's say they're, they're exactly the same. Nine tenths of what they do is exactly the same. The well, difference geodetic is takes into account the curvature of the earth and all kinds of stuff. I mean, they. Right. So then, is the is the curvature of the Earth a physical measurement or a calculation? The calculation, because the Earth's not round. The calculation. So how do you have a how do you have a value then to base your calculation? Where does that value come from? Well, you're going to have to go to college and take you a year to figure that out. <laughs> so if you were having beer with a buddy and he asked you that question, you tell him to go. To the yep, go fuck coach. yourself. I'm not answering it. That's what I tell them. Leave me alone. I'm drinking a beer. You think you think it's possible, Greg, that the curvature of the Earth doesn't exist and that it's just a calculation? It's a calculation. Right, but I, you didn't hear the first part. I said, do you think it exists? It doesn't. Ex so then it could be measured then, right? That's why everything is... It, that's why there's geodetic calculations. Yeah. I I really think that if we put our thinking caps on, we would understand that they actually never have ever measured the curvature of the Earth. They've only ever thought that it was, and they've created math to express that, and everybody just thinks that it's thinks that. Yeah. Okay. I got another line here. All right. And you're right. The last question is yes. All right, thank you. Get this other line, sir. Okay, thank you, Greg. Thanks. You there? Yep, thank you, thank you.